Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. So how many of you have been trying to set the timing on one of these larger Sato engines like the 180, 120, 150? These are the engines that have the tappets that don't allow it to be pushed in from the top so they have to be inserted from the bottom so you can't use the standard technique for inserting a, uh, a rod or an instrument in the intake and catching on that hole to hold the timing gear in place. So the means that I use now that I've discovered a while back actually to set the timing on these bigger engines like this is I'll use a rubber band, pretty stout rubber band just to hold the crankshaft at top dead center so that's one less thing I have to hold on to. And I've got my tappets installed obviously and my timing gear is all in place. But what I have here is just a little smudge of um, bearing grease for automotive bearing grease. And what that does is it allows me just to kind of smear some in that gap there that will just kind of stiffen that movement of the timing gear up enough so that it won't rotate because some of these can rotate pretty freely. So what I've done here is I've got a little bit of that bearing grease there. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop the gasket on here. And... You make sure that when you put that grease on that you make sure you don't coat the hole with grease so that you can see where your hole is, your timing mark, and leave it right where it's supposed to be. And then all I do is I just stand this upright and I just make sure that when I put this in there I don't touch that timing gear on anything like I just did. Now this isn't perfect, but it's a means of getting the job done. And then once you're in place, hold it, and then drop a screw in. Once you've got a screw in place, pretty much good to go there. So that's how I set the timing on these larger engines that have the tappets that can't just be dropped in the hole there on the top.